Yeah, those of you who weren't here um, Friday night, I mentioned to Jed one reason why that it's so difficult for her to determine the difference between her own emotion and spirits with her is that she's very, very open to hearing spirits and the reason why I identified an emotion in her which is yet to work through and that is this emotion that she needs to be heard and many of these spirits who are in lower conditions also have the same emotion. All they want is someone to hear them all they want is someone to actually listen to their story. And, and so that, that emotion connects with Jen's emotion, which is why the spirits find it so easy to connect through her and state their stories. But unfortunately, it also interferes to a degree with her processing of some of her own emotions. And one reason why I invited her up just now is because I wanted to identify to her, and to you as an audience too, the times when she was not actually dealing with the emotion, but actually was projecting anger rather than dealing with the emotion. So there'll be many times in your life where you're crying and you'll think you're dealing with grief, but in our reality, you'll be dealing with anger because you just feel like this, you know, you'll feel this blame while you're crying. So if you're crying and you're feeling blame towards others while you're doing it, like, why can't they help me? Why can't they, you know, this kind of thing. So I'm crying away, why can't they, why can't she love me more? you know, that kind of crying, I am not in a causal emotion. What I'm in is an effect emotion of anger that's actually preventing me from going deeper into the causal emotion. And I can cry for years and years and years on effect emotions like that. I personally have done that. I personally cried for almost seven years about a relationship doing exactly that. Crying about the effect. Why can't she love me? Why can't she? Instead of just feeling the feeling and actually feeling the grief about being unloved, the fact that I'm, in, in my case, it was this feeling that nobody can ever love me, that I'm unlovable. I'm unlovable. And so oftentimes we're actually feeling the emotional layer that's above the real core. And this is why many people have this feeling that if I emotionally process it, I'll be doing it the rest of my life. And the truth is that if you emotionally process at the effect level, you will be doing it the rest of your life. Right? So if I'm emotionally processing and while I'm feeling these emotions and crying, I'm actually blaming another person, right at that moment, I am actually, and that, that is not a causal emotion. And I can do that for the rest of my life. My suggestion is don't do that. I did that for seven years or so, and it's very, very painful. So don't do that. Allow yourself to step the level below that, which is no longer a state of blame, and no longer a state of trying to punish somebody, and no longer a state of trying to have somebody else fix you. When you're in the emotion itself, you won't feel those emotions. Does that make sense to everyone? 